Wakeboarding behind the boat has been around for a long time, and the way that people do it is constantly progressing and changing. But one thing has always remained the same, the deep water start. When the rider is well informed, a deep water start is something almost anyone can do. But if you stray away from these three steps and or having a poor boat driver can make it a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Step number one, relax. When you hop into the water strapped into a wakeboard for the first time, I know it can be a little bit intimidating. But the more relaxed you are, the easier it will be, I promise. The harder you work to pull yourself up, the more difficult you'll make it. The boat has 300 plus horsepower for a reason, so let's go ahead and let it do the heavy lifting. Step number two, knees bent, arms out. These are the main two things you should be thinking about when you get up. When the rope is tight, be sure your arms are straight and your knees are bent. Posture is very important in order to get up with ease. Once the board is up on top of the water, don't rush to stand up or turn sideways. You can stay in the knees bent, arms out position with your chest facing towards the boat for as long as you need. Step number three, picking your leading hip. Now that you're up on top of the water and in control of the board, you're going to pivot the handle to your leading hip. Once you have the rope at your lead hip, be sure to keep the handle as close to your hip as possible, with your chest up and your knees bent at all times. This posture is one of the main building blocks to progress your riding. So whether you're a beginner or a professional, this posture will never let you down. Now that you have that dialed in, you'll realize that the progression of wakeboarding is nearly endless. I've been wakeboarding for over 20 years and it still puts a smile on my face every time I do it. So hopefully you found these tips helpful and you'll enjoy it as much as I have.